What's going on guys? So I've got a PS4 here today, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to make your PS4 portable. So this works with the PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, and the regular PS4, um, but obviously I have a PS4 Pro here today. And you know, by nature, the, the PS4, it's, it's not portable. Obviously you're plugged into the wall with uh, the power cord, and then your HDMI cord goes to your TV. Um, in my case, it's, it's, I mean, it's a pretty heavy TV. It's, it's about 60 pounds, I think, and you know, that thing is not portable. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the best way to make this portable. Now, Sony actually has a way that they've tried to make, you know, kind of tried to make the PS4 portable, and that's by streaming the games through your PS Vita or through your phone, um, and then hooking up your controller to your phone. And now these these are pretty cool. They work they work kind of well. Um, but I mean, they're they're streaming through your internet, so the games are kind of laggy. Um, if you're playing like COD or something, it's not going to be fast enough for you to make quick enough of reactions. It's just too laggy. So this method I'm going to show you is the best way to play your PS4 on the go. It has no lag and it works really well. Um, we got a PS4 screen right here, basically. Um, so it's a it's a screen made by G Story. It's about an 11 or 12 inch screen, um, full HD. And basically, you just take this thing, stick it on top of your PS4, and you've essentially made your PS4 portable. Um, so so basically, you stick it on top. Then you got these little little clamp things. I don't know really know what you call them. Um, and then these things go on the side. It's pretty pretty obvious where they go if you see this thing in person. All right, so I got the clamps on. As you can see, these clamps just kind of clamp, clamp to the uh, the little top third bar right here, and it clamps on nicely. It's almost like it's a part of the PS4. I mean, it, it fits it fits really nicely. Let's look at it from the side. It just looks like a fourth layer. Um, and yeah, basically this makes your PS4 portable. And so now that you got your screen on, you're gonna have to plug it in. Um, so here's the power adapter for it. Now, obviously one end goes to your screen, which I'll show you in the back. So we turn this thing around. Um, there's a couple pretty obvious slot back here where the power goes. And then we're gonna put the other side into the wall, obviously, just like you usually would. So now we've got power to our PS4, and we've got power to our screen. And as you can see, we got a red light there. That means we've got power. And our last step, it's just plugging an HDMI cable in from the screen to our PS4. All right, so I've got my HDMI cable plugged in now. It's going from my PS4 to my screen. Um, HDMI cable from the TV is unplugged. So we're only plugged in to this PS4 Pro portable monitor now. And we've essentially made our PS4 portable. So let me go ahead and show you how it works. Let's go ahead and turn our PS4 on. And let's go ahead and turn the screen on. So now it's got a green light. And here we go. We've got a little white screen that says G Story. And we just wait for our PS4 to boot up. And there it is. So there you have it. Essentially, we have a PS4 portable now. And as you can see, there's essentially no lag to it. Um, it's just like playing your PS4 on your, on your TV at home. Um, it even comes with this little remote where you can control stuff, go to the menu, change the volume, mute it, everything like that. So I mean, it's pretty sweet. Um, your PS4 is portable now. Um, and now one thing you may be asking me is, you know, I still got two cords plugged into the wall. Is this thing really portable? Um, and you're right. Right now it's not 100% portable. Um, and in most cases, this is going to work for most people. Um, you just take take both of your take both of these things, stack on top of each other, um, wherever you want to play it, and then plug those two into an outlet. Um, you know, in your room, at your friend's house, wherever, and that's going to work fine. Um, but if you want to make it even more portable, you can actually buy like a basically a big um, battery backup. Um, that has a couple outlets on it and you can plug it plug your ps4 and your monitor straight into that and at that point you're essentially completely 100 percent portable um, the only thing you got to watch out for there is got to make sure the battery backup has enough wattage to support the ps4 pro and the monitor i'm not sure what the power consumption ratings are on the ps4 um, i know what this is i don't know it off the top of my head but i'll put it in the description what the power consumption is and yeah so this thing is pretty sweet i mean the camera's not doing this justice right now this thing is definitely 100 percent um, full HD. It looks really good. Obviously it doesn't look as good as a 4K um, TV or monitor or whatever, but it's full HD, 1080p. It looks really good. I um, mean, you can play Fortnite on the go now. You can play Spider-Man, um, whatever game you want to. Every functionality of PS4 is good to go. Basically just a screen stacked on top of your PS4. So there you have it guys. We made our PS4 Pro portable. 
And as I said earlier, they actually have models for the PS4 Slim and regular PS4 as well. I'll put links for all those in the description as well as this one. Um, I believe they run for $150 or so, maybe a little bit higher. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good price. It's essentially just a monitor that attaches to your PS4. And so this is work for a lot of situations. You know, you want to take your PS4 to your friend's house um, and their parents are watching TV or whatever. I mean, you already got a built-in TV. You just go and sit in your friend's room and you can play PS4 all you want, play Fortnite all you want. Um, you know, you want to play this in the car, um, just get an, an adapter to plug into your, your um, outlet in the car, and there you go, PS4 in the car. I mean, you, think you could take this thing to Starbucks, you could take it to, um, you know, anybody else that's got free Wi-Fi or even just power outlet and go sit at a table, plug these two things in, and you're good to go. You're playing PS4 portable. Um, so it's pretty sweet. Um, again, just check out the links in the description if you want to buy it. I definitely recommend it. It's a lot better than trying to play your PS4 through your PS Vita or your phone or whatever. Um, this has no lag and it's a whole lot easier to use. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know down in the description if you got any questions or comments and uh, hope you guys have a great day.